global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. We are so excited to have you again. Some few hours ago, Sarah Reporter came up with uh, a breaking news that the nephew of President Muhammad Buhari, Maman Dwara, has been flown abroad for immediate medical checkup. And uh, according to them, they said there were symptoms that have shown that he is he has been infected with corona virus nigerians have been talking and guess what the talk is kind of not just one-sided but two-sided because there are a lot of people who are even getting angry why should nigerians be overly happy over the ill health of mama dwara while others are saying it's good to be happy because of this and that but however uh, before we look at that, uh, let's just give you the response of the family because the family has come up to speak about it. Well, as speculations continue to trail the health condition of Malam Maman Daura, a nephew of the president, Muhammad Buhari, who had reportedly been flown abroad uh, for urgent medical treatment, a family source has said that the trip was a routine one, a routine one and that was long planned. Well, a, a news platform had actually earlier reported that um, he was flown due to respiratory issues. Daura 79 was said to have been flown in a private jet to the United Kingdom on Wednesday after exhibiting respiratory difficulties with symptoms similar to coronavirus since last Friday, the report had stated. Well, but a close the close thoughts uh, to the family who spoke on an, on the condition of anonymity said that there was no such thing that Mama Dora actually went for a routine checkup that was long planned for a while now. Wow, R routine checkup despite the um, ban on international flights. Exactly. And we're talking about routine Exa checkup, check which means that uh, though all animals are equal, but then the truth is that some animals are more equal than the others. Than the others, exactly. You know, and uh, but then, let's let's just look at what Nigerians are saying. It's two sided, as I, I I did say before. Now most people are saying it's wrong to get happy because if you check immediately that report came up that he has been flown abroad and that he started showing um, some symptoms of uh, coronavirus. The excitement was amazing on all the social medias that had reported it or, you know, uh, social yeah, news, newspapers and all of that. People were so excited and all of that. So some persons are like, why are you excited? And different reasons are coming out. So we're going to be reading this to you before we now go into the discussion of this very uh, serious issue or trending issue. And someone here says, Nigeria would never be united as long as there are some people who rejoice over the dead and sufferings of others. They rejoice when Abakari died and now they are happy because of Maman Daura's health condition. Why don't we just let go of the hatred and bigotry? And she now said peace. And then people just line up and started responding to her. And this one says here, what if someone that can't afford to go abroad for treatment, so they should die? Your leaders will travel abroad for treatment, admire how equipped and modernized their hospitals are, but it won't occur to them to do the same here. Another person says here, it won't occur to them to equip the modernized Nigerian hospital. They have everything it takes, but they don't care about the average Nigerian. So they should. So why should I care about them when they are sick on or when they die? Another person here came up and said, so you think it is because of lack of facility that prompts these guys to travel for treatment? Well, you are wrong. They do not trust the system. The doctors and the staff alike, they fear they would be poisoned by a compromised medical personnel. And someone responded to that guy said, well, well said, bro. Look at the poor woman in Ibadan, injured by a serial killer. There was no equipment to test or to treat her. She was alive but died awaiting for treatment that will never occur. And this one here says... Hope you know he had the ability to ensure at least three well 
three well-staffed and equipped hospitals were functional since COVID-19 started. He hates you more. Talking to the lady who made that statement. Another person here came up and said, you are very correct, bro. Trump received treatment in Nigeria. <laughs> Call a spade a spade. And why was he saying this? Because someone came up and said that regardless of your medical blah, 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 you can fly from to any part of the world for medical treatment. It doesn't only happen in Nigeria. So what the other person is now saying, when will Nigeria be, when will it ever happen that we are the medical destination of other personalities from other continents of the world? When will it ever happen? Why is it that someone from the United States have not cared to come down here or possibly from an African country say, oh, let me go to Nigeria and get the best of uh, medical treatment and all of that? Why? Because things are not right now. But before we start throwing tantrums at this guy, as much as we have the right to do that, don't forget that this guy had not, not been in the hem of our face for one single day. You know, he had never been uh, the, the president, election. minister of or health or something, position. or be in any elect elected position. What we are only saying here is because we've been told that he is the head of the cabal. Now, looking at what Nigerians are saying, what's your reaction to this whole issue that he's seeing Nigerians are happy. Some said they shouldn't be happy and all of that. I could still remember when he was speaking to, um, we had a, he had an interview. He said um, that um, uh, people were asking him questions. He said, look, that he's not elected, but he gives advice. Okay, that uh, while uh, I think uh, Gaba Shew, no, it wasn't Gaba Shew, I think it was Adishina that said that Nigeria should even be grateful yeah. that he gives unsolicited advice, advice yeah. and that advice is awesome. Is that Nigeria should even be telling him thank you, but mm. he's not being paid, but yet you know he gives advice. Where Nigeria, there was now more of an outcry saying, if you are not being paid, then leave us so rock because yeah. you are enjoying taxpayers' money, money and all exactly. that. But that's not even where we are going right now. Is the fact that he said that he he he. he is in the position of giving advice to the presidency and they adhere to his advice, which means as this, at the time of COVID-19 where uh, Nigerians have been, there's this backlash, there's been, there's been pressure on the uh, hospital, hospitals and the uh, medical uh, you know, equipment in Nigeria, which means looking at what happened in, uh, in Nigeria during this pandemic period, it clearly showed that we had very little amount of uh, hospital facilities. You know, our hospitals were not well equipped. Some of the things that happened that they had to fly some of them from Lagos, from Abuja to Lagos and outside to Dubai and simply because our, our, our hospitals are not uh, you know, well equipped. You keep seeing things like um, uh, medical tourism hop happening. We are not, um, we have the capacity. We are, we are rich in, in, in fin uh, forget the fact that it has been squandered, but we can, we actually can have one of the best facilities in Africa, in Nigeria. But if they have decided not to have it, it's simply because they don't want to make it happen. Yeah. For you to drive all the way from here to Dubai just to check, what, what did you call it? Medical treatment, just to check, check your, medical yeah. checkup. Are you saying that we don't have competent doctors? We do have. We do Are have. you also saying that we can't actually have competent hospital facilities? Oh, no. I think it's a case of deliberate art of not, you know, making the hospitals function. And like that young man had rightly said, we, the fellow Nigerians, who don't have that capacity to travel out during lockdown. Well, and, suffering, well, yeah. Imagine if somebody else ha does not have that capacity and the, there is ban, international ban, and that person is dying and there's no equipment facility for that particular treatment. The person automatically dies. Exactly. And uh, being that he is a Buhari, Buhari's nephew and he has accepted the fact that he is, he's been giving advice to uh, President Muhammadu Buhari clearly shows that he's a major influence on Buhari's you know, capabilities because if you're the one advising anybody and then it turns out bad, you know, it therefore means to some extent you have contributed in making it bad. So I think that's why Nigerians are now jumping in to blast him. And just to prove that whether he is not appointed uh, or elected or not elected, the truth is that he's enjoying a lot of things. Imagine during this period where there is ban on international flight, they're flying him abroad, you know. So it therefore means that to some extent, Nigerians have the right to castigate and also 
to you know um talk about his influence on you know buhari but however we like to leave it there just go to our comment section let us interact please let's keep aside hit word the family said he's going for normal uh, routine checkup uh, but then the fight in the social media goes to tell you that nigerians some are happy some are not happy some are saying why should you be happy that he's going for medical checkup